Hey guys, Sulfur here, and I welcome you back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars J. Let's get uh, started with this, shall we? So we have uh, Saburota here, Takasugi. Um, we don't know if he retreats yet. And we also got Gen Pachiri to uh, Gen uh, Pachiro Akiyama. So we don't know if he retreats either, but we we know what they get, what they have. Yeah, pretty good stuff, I guess. Random grunt. It's a warship. And it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna see if I can actually drag them to me over here. While I get everybody restored. Let's see then. So how's everybody doing right now? I'm actually in the middle of getting everything packed up to move. I don't know if if you guys haven't seen the bulletins I put out and everything like that, but uh, that that's like the main big thing that's happening right now with me. That's one main reason why I uh, haven't had any videos out recently, because again, I was busy packing what I have. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, so I had to deal with doing all that crap. Tell you what, guys, no matter how old you are, I'm uh, 23. Pack, uh, moving still sucks. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. So yeah, but I think I got everything pretty much packed now. All that's left is, uh, I have my PS2 and Xbox still out. I only use my Xbox for, uh, DVDs, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but I'll pack those up, uh, probably like either tomorrow or Thursday. We're actually moving, uh, on the, uh, well, this Friday. Or no, no, Saturday, Saturday. See, I'm getting mixed up now because I'm tired. I'm recording this when I am exhausted, so I hope you guys are happy that you're getting another episode. I'm very happy to be recording, even though I'm, I'm pretty exhausted, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm here to uh, show you guys my, uh, well, uh, <laughs> show you guys a great video, I guess. See, I'm not even going to make sense now. But yeah, I'm going to try to get out uh, as many episodes as I can this week, in between uh, moving and stuff. Saturday, I'm not so sure if I'll be able to get an episode up or not, because, again, that's going to be the day we move, and I'm going to be waking up really early. We'll get everything moved in one day. That's no problem. It's uh, just whether or not I'm going to have the energy after that to do it. <laughs> and one cool thing is, uh, is where I'm at right now, I'm not really able to record until, uh, let's say, about 11, 10, 11 p.m. my time. Because, uh, my family's awake and everything like that. And, I don't know, I just think it'd be weird for them to hear me talking to myself. And me trying to justify it by saying, Hey, I just record myself playing video games and talk to myself at the same time. Doesn't seem like a rational answer. They would give me probably weird looks. So, to avoid, uh, that, uh, conclusion, I record when everybody's asleep. Ooh, cool, you got combo now, level one. That's very, actually, nice. But yeah, I record at night now, but uh, with my new living arrangements, I should be able to record any time. There might be some interruptions from here, from then, uh, here and there, but uh, I, I really don't think so. I'll have a lock on my door, so everybody will have to knock before they come in. So that'll definitely help. I want to see if I can get, maybe, get a combo, or you won't be able to combo. But yeah, so... So hopefully I'll be able to record whatever I want to, and if, if that's possible, then I'll be able to record earlier and get things done quicker. More episodes out, because, you know, as the night goes on, I get more tired, and I have to wake up at 7, 6.30 in the morning. Because I got work, and I normally have to take my nephew to his, uh, his grandma's before I, damn it, uh, before I go to work. At least till school starts. So, and then, then... I just gotta get on the bus, which is not bad at all. But his uh, his grandma lives pretty far away now that where we're moving, so it's gonna kind of suck. But or whatever, right? Yeah, so I have to wake up. So and recording these episodes, yeah, they might be. Uh, what's we call it? Uh, God damn it! Let me hit. Thank you. They might be three minutes long, but you always have to include the. Uh, God damn it! I'm trying to think right now, and 
play. <laughs> it's not going that well. Yeah, but it, just because it's 30 minutes, uh, re you know, record time doesn't mean that's how long it takes to render and all that stuff. It takes about an extra 15 to 30 minutes to set the, put it through uh, another process of rendering because when you record from the uh, Visual Boy itself, the emulator, the sound and... Oh, super mode. Nice. The sound and the... Uh, whatchamacallit. The gameplay actually desync. So I have to use a, a uh, another program to resync it all up, and that makes a freaking huge file, so that makes it when I actually put the Windows Movie Maker, yes, Windows Movie Maker, this, I'm not going for high definition or anything like that. When I put it there, I uh, guess might as well heal. It's a huge file, and it, it takes a lot, of course, a lot longer to actually uh, uh, render out, so that's like an extra 10 to 15 minutes right there. Yeah, I know it sucks, but... I mean, that's what I gotta do right now. My computer's not the greatest, so, of course, it takes that makes rendering a little bit longer than it normally should be. Um... Go restore you. So... So, yeah, I mean... So, three videos could take, like, two to three hours just to do. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind doing it, don't, don't get me wrong, but it's just the fact that... I don't need you to... No, wow. Everybody's defending me. It's me. How am I doing? But it's just like... Since I can't record till like 10, 11 at night... That brings it to... Well, you get the satisfaction of uh, staying up till like 2 in the morning... Recording, rendering, and all that stuff, and uploading... To have to wake up in 5 hours. Aren't you, uh, lucky? So let's see what this tran phase transition can is. I accidentally pressed uh, no uh, uh, no uh, animation the last time in the last episode. So now we're going to find out. I also get to see the distortion field, which is always good. It means lessens the damage. But yeah, I'm just trying to tell you what my uh, process is right now. But if I'm able to record like I want to and when I want to, and when I'm really feeling good, then it shouldn't be a problem for me to actually uh, render out and get in good time, have enough time to... Be what I want to do to uh, be what I want to do at night and stuff like that. And it's not that I don't want to do or anything like that. It's just uh, half the time it, it's at a bad time and holy moly, that was pretty cool. It was like an early uh, dynamic kill. But yeah, so that, that's the process. And if I again, if I sound really weird and stuff, it's because I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm really tired right now. I really want to get out this. I want to finish this chapter if possible. I'm assuming these are the last guys to fight too, so I shouldn't have too much trouble. Then I just gotta read the dialogue and do Puzzle Robo and all that crap. These guys are fairly simple. <laughs> Here I'm saying they're simple, and then I, for some reason I think the Gondosians are going to be showing up in this chapter, so that's probably not going to be over. But we'll have to wait and see, shall we? Support defense. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Defense. Hey, you're kind of getting beat down by it right now, but that's not too bad. <clears throat> George can do rose bits, but no, I need you to get a little bit closer. Repair the Nadesco a little bit more. I mean, being on this panel, that definitely helps, so. No worries there. No doubt about that. And I'm definitely cutting out the animations in this one because I just want to finish a stage. <laughs> I just want to finish it. I want to get done with it. Um, yeah. We'll use zero. Yay, EG will be able to combo with me. Starboard attack! We'll wait right there. What's yours? 1300. Support attack. Well, I'm not even going to need support attack because Rona will be able to take it down by himself. We'll put you over there. Graviton shoulder. Now. And Shinobu is going to support attack with me. With them all being together, it really definitely helps with the support attack. And plus, I'm not worrying about using energy in this stage either. I want to see this one, so. So screw me. Actually, I just got done eating pizza. Donato's Pizza. 
I'm not sure, well, I'm pretty sure anybody in Great Britain, they have no idea what Donato's Pizza is unless they came to the States on the uh, East Coast, but I'm not even sure if anybody in maybe the Midwest has it or not. I think they do some places in the Midwest, but Donato's Pizza is it's pretty bitchin'. It was actually my first job when I was a little kid, when I turned 14. I actually got the job so I could get a driver's license because my dad told me, you, you can't uh, get your driver's license or a car until you actually get uh, your I uh, get a full 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 time job because uh, because you're on to pay for the car. We're not paying for it. Luckily, they were uh, willing to pay for my uh, insurance, and that was until like I was I think 21. My mom paid until I was 21, which was really nice of her too. That really helped me save a lot of money. No freaking doubt. I, I'll tell you what. But yeah, Denos was my first job. Started working there, worked for two years before I went on to my next one. I tell you what, that was some of the funnest years of my life. It was fantastic. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of kids my age, of course, because that was the kind of job where it was like your starter job, in a way. Uh, let me move you up here. It's like you originally you you joined this job, so we you hit. You're not going to. Whatever. But yeah, this is a job that pretty much gets you into the scene, how it feels to work and everything. You know, and I went to school during all this too, mind you. And I was working, probably, I don't know if it, it probably wasn't legal, I'll tell you about it right now. But I was working like 8 hour, 10 hour days sometimes. Now, I didn't mind whatsoever because I had fun. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And, I, and that's the reason I did so well there. I mean, I got... A, it feels like I'm uh, kind of uh, gloating here, but I got a lot of like rewards and stuff because I was the best one there doing everything I was supposed to do to the top of the line, too. Like, if this is what you're supposed to do? Well, I did the best I could do, and then some. So, yeah, you know, I got I was renowned there at that Donato's. It, it was fun, too. Plus, you know, having free pizza is awesome. Because at the end of the day, especially when you close, we have dough that's left over that's ready to uh, cook and everything like that. You know, put toppings on and stuff. But you can't actually, I mean, since we didn't use it, we were going to throw it away. So I'm like, hey, normally they would allow me. I'm like, hey, can I, you know, make myself a pizza and take it home? They're like, hell yeah. You know, I'm making myself some too. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what they say. All oh, right, come on, Earthlings. This dingy will be your opponent. Okay, it'll be my opponent. But yeah, I, I worked there for quite a while, you know, and then I, unbeknownst to myself, I was networking, uh, which is cool. Uh, if you don't know what networking is, pretty much you're setting up, uh, like, friends that work at different positions that down the line will be able to help you uh, later in life. Like, hey, you know, I just got a new job at this new place, you know, and they're like, hey, do you have any other openings? They're like, yeah, I do, actually. I'll put a good word in for you. You know, and that pretty much, and I knew someone there, and he's like, yeah, right now we, we have a, uh... Uh, what should we call it? Uh, you know, opening for this one position, you make a lot more money, and it's still in the uh, cooking uh, industry, I guess you could say. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'll join that. You know, and that led to my next job. So yeah, I mean, overall, I thought it was fun, great experience, great experience. I cannot say that enough. Okay, you're not going to run away. Good. Yeah, but I, I really can't say that enough because I I had a lot of fun, and I wouldn't trade it for <laughs> anything. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, the only thing I do wish I did when I was a uh, kid and before I left there was uh, I kept in contact with a lot of people. Captain, damn you, Earthlings! <laughs> you guys are really quite good for Earthlings. The amount of damage you inflicted upon me is proof enough. I get. I'm not even sure if this is his voice I used in the last episode, so. Whatever. Since the Godosians should be arriving soon, staying here won't be of any use. Let's invoke Plan 36. On you to retreat for now. We can fight again later. Wow, oh, is that all of them? Enemy retreating. Alright, well done. How about the 8th Fleet? We just received word about them. The 8th Fleet is... No way. I, I can't believe it. What happened? Hurry up and report. The 8th Fleet was annihilated. The flagship, the Metalewis, or how are you pronounce it, was sunk. Admiral Halliburton's escape is unconfirmed. 
Oh no, does this mean Admiral Halbert is... Impossible. The entire army has should have complete data on the SPTs. No, more than that. The Manuas received several lunar frames from Nurgle specifically for this operation. Even if they had a difficult battle to be taken out so easily... It appears a single golden unit wiped out both the Manuas and the lunar frames. A golden unit? The hell? What? Unknown warship confirmed. No boson reaction detected. Is it an enemy? It's transported so far to boson jump? Don't tell me it's those guys again. They also have warships, I see. Is that you, Alvon? If you're there, then come out! This time I'll... No, that's a good Grados warship. The Gradosian's army? That defense barrier, I see. It appears the rumor about sensors developed on Earth being unable to catch them was true, so to speak. Then the eighth fleet who took out the eighth of the then the enemies who took out the eighth fleet were. They were the Gradosians. Enemy SPT squadron incoming. Whoa. From the other side too. Who? Uh, Rukane? <laughs> so that's the infamous force I've heard so much about. This should prove interesting. That's... A golden SPT? Hey, isn't that the guy they were talking about? E.G., who the hell is that guy? Lazar possessed no data on those five units. That means they were developed after it was finished. The Kondosian army is also throwing in new models, I see. We can't fight them, but it doesn't look like we can run either. The Eighth Fleet was annihilated, so that's the main Gorosian force. Fine, I can't let the, the things in here. Alvon, I will not let you achieve that what... I will achieve what you desire. Just remember, you brought this on yourself. Either way, we can't prevent a battle. Ruri, charge that gravity blast. What the faves? Transition cannon. Please hold your fire, Captain. E.G.? Gadojian fleet, can you hear me? I'm uh, Alberto Abato? No, no, no. Noel E.G. Asuka. I want to speak with the officer in command immediately. Hmm, you're E.G. Asuka, huh? I was hoping I would get to meet with you soon. You're the Gadojian traitor. E.G. 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 Gastello, you're still alive, man. What? You're. This can't be. Gastello? Gustello, that's disgusting guy from the way back then. Yeah, the murderer. You son of a bitch. You survived? No way. Hey, what's with this? Uh, what's this all about? Yeah, you weren't there, were you guys? He's a guy on we were sure we took out back on Mars. Gustello, you're still alive? Who knows? I wonder how far this body here can hold on. Thanks to you, I'm in this state. I'll slay you as I would a dog, tearing you limb from limb. Back off, peasant. Y yes, sir. Forgive me, your excellency. See, I meant nothing by it. Lord Rukane. Rukane? I am the supreme commander of the Earth Attack Fleet. Rukane. If there is something you want to say to me, then do so. I heard you to be quite the entertainment before battle. Go on, spill it out. Can't be that man is the fleet commander. What's the matter, Eiji Asuka? I will listen even the words of a man corrupted by his blood. Go on. Commander Rukane, I trust you've already heard about the creation of Grados. What's that? What are you talking about? I knew you didn't know. Close your command circuit. Nobody else will be able to listen that way. I want to talk with you, just the two of us. What? <sighs> Fine. What are you doing? Fight! We have to break through and escape! Wait until EG finishes his talk. It's not like things could turn out any worse. Yeah, maybe we can talk about this. Circuit's closed. No one else can hear us speak. You're free to talk about this so-called creation of Grottos. That's everything I know. Everything. And that's why this battle is senseless. Please cease hostilities and, and reach all your fleet. You fool, I thought it would be something that would actually deal a blow to our morale. But you just had to go and come up with something like that tall tale. Do you really believe a lie could prevent the evasion of Earth? I knew it, you, your Earthling blood has corrupted you. Yes, you're as foolish as them now. It's true, my family's existence is proof. 
Shut up, I have no intention of listening to you any more of your lies. Commander Rukane! Listen well, E.G. Asuka, Earthlings. When I arrived here, I did not believe things would be this bad, but now I know. I'll have to be to completely annihilate the inferior Earthlings that dare strike back at Grottos. Submit to me, submit to Grottos, and under our careful control, you will eventually go into an ideal society. But aren't you just want to kill us all? We can't just accept that kind of selfishness. We have to go by ourselves, the way we want. Damn straight. <laughs> Fool. And what do you think you can do when you waste all that time in the world fighting against other? Time and time again, just as expected, the Earthlings are in need of strong guidance, the kind only Grottos can provide. All forces commence attack. Your Excellency, please let me deal with E.G. and the rest of the monkeys. <laughs> Fine, do it. Demon Death Platoon to the front. I will deserve your performance in this battle personally. Thank you very much. Okay, I figured you just disappeared. Uh, it was no use. I wasn't able to avoid this battle. E.G. And then that boy is nothing more than a Gnosian. If negotiations were an option, why did you think we wouldn't have pursued them in the first place? Wasn't the Annihilation of Mars enough to know they couldn't be reasoned with? In any case, we have to escape somehow. All you try to reduce the number of SPTs a little bit. Once they weaken enough, then this go or break out of the combat zone at full speed. When you get the signal, please return to the ship so we can escape together. Ruri! We will escape in this direction. What? Please keep that in mind while you fight. So, does goals change at all, or...? So, technically, I guess I could kill these guys. All of them? So, it doesn't- that has a leadership war. Okay. Where, uh, oh. Where's the douchebag at? Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, everybody move to the side here. I actually probably want to actually fight all of them. Unless it's gonna force me to go over there. Or it's just gonna be like endless troops, which I don't think it will be, honestly, so... Um, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. Domon, you go right here. For right now... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Uh, allergies kind of getting to me right now. Stuck, uh, you know, clogging up my throat. My throat! Get you some more of your calf missiles. End our turn, see what happens, and... This is a fairly big chapter, to say the least. I mean, we had, uh... Rodham, Maltecaman enemies, then Nadesco enemies, and now SPT Lesnar enemies. Hooray! For more enemies! Yeah, I should be able to easily take these, these douchebags out quickly. I was hoping they would move, but apparently not. Circumstances unfavorable. E.G. detached from this combat zone at once. Lesnar is capable of shaking off any pursuit. Are you telling me to abandon them? I have to protect myself, detached from the combat zone, E.G. If you engage V-Max and out at full speed, any object that enters your path will be forcibly removed. Cut it out. I'll never pilot a killing machine. The preservation of my records take priority. Even above me? What you have nothing is more than data. And if what he says is true, then I'm living proof of it. My blood is its proof. I'm mistaken full on, then feel free to kill me as you please. Only then will you be able to do what you want. So what is it going to be? Decide now, full on. What's the matter, full on? Answer me. Question meaning unknown. Ray? Uh, should I change this word? Uh, there is a message from unknown source uh, replying. I entrust everything to the hands of Albato no E.G. Asuka. This also means VMAX cables are now yours to control. You're leaving everything to me? Alright, let's go, Ray. Activate VMAX! Ready? Oh, woo-wee. VMAX! So, does that mean I get new moves or something? Holy shit. Yeah, baby. This should be fun. No freaking doubt. Awesome. Yeah, he even has a little V right by him now. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hold down the uh, the R button and uh, A. So we're gonna speed up this a little bit. 
It's normal speed, so if you're playing on the GBA or something like that, you can speed it up that way too. I'm not using the actual emulator speed. If so, you hear the music start doing that. So keep in mind. Keep in mind. Um. Rose Screamer. So come on, get to me. Because I have a great position right here, and moving would be really. Really stupid. At least I think so. Uh, Koji, kill. Ah. Ha ha! You are weak, SPTs. At least those ones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kill. Doom. Dead. Yeah. If you also hold the uh, the R and A button at the same time, you can also speed up uh, animations too. So. I never used it before, but now I kind of want to. Again, it's and I'm not cheating to speed it up. It's part of the damn game. Hey, you learned something. You learned something I'm unsure of. Thunder break. Ha <laughs> beam coat. Win. Mass and power. Oh shit. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they are doing quite well. Your Excellency, please allow me to go out there to... I don't even know who is speaking. Huh, you? Interesting. Permission granted. Destroy them. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. They're resisting quite well. This is going... This is getting quite entertaining. I'll assist too. Of course you will. VMAX, red power. What are we doing? Power ranges now, baby. It's morphin' time. VMAX, no. That's not red. That's not... That's not a regular VMAX. Energy detected to be about 25% stronger than regular VMAX. Engaging it is dangerous. Repeat, engaging it is dangerous. Oh, for Christ's sake. Enemy SPTs reinforced. Can't you do something about them? Everybody, please hang on. Ah, as if the golden unit wasn't enough, another weird one had to show up. Did you know, not know anything about that one either? No, there's no data on it. Mm, my, my, my. I never thought I would get to hear that nostal nostalgic voice as soon as after returning to the Earth Sphere. Never imagined I would meet you here of all places. Nostalgic? Who the hell are you? Whoa, that's a dude, and I, I, called, I mean, gave her to, in my girl's way. Fujira and Sarah. Did you forget about me already? <gasps> no, this isn't possible. You gotta be kidding me. You? You're Scorpio? I heard you died in an engagement on Marge. What the hell are you doing here? Shiba and Shikiku. Shiki Shikikibu. Shikikibu. Are here too. <laughs> Looks like a gathering of problem children. So think you're skilled enough to face me? Scorpio, why? Sarah, won't you come with me? As I see Rue Kane will accept you if you so desire. Throw aside those good-for-nothing sentiments of yours. Earth cannot defeat the Gondosians. Scorpion, you're... Hey, did you say Scorpio? Is that Scorpio Keats? Do you know about him? The guy piloting that thing is an Earthling? Yes, Scorpio Keats, the man who instructed us at the officer's school. He was a uh, once Sarah's significant other as well. I oh, love her, huh? That guy was Sarah's main squeeze? Seriously? But his hair, his hair! Now have you looked at hers? He was one of the staff officers who took part in the Mars engagement. His ship was sunk in that battle and we heard he died. But now it seems he's alive and it defeated, defected to the Gredosian army to boot. I don't believe this, Scorpio. As a commissioned officer of the UFA, how dare you throw your life in that with the aliens? <laughs> Is that you, Colbert? time. Nobody listened to me when I had uh, no prospects for victory. The result was failure on a massive scale. I'm done being used by full shirting earthling imbeciles like yourself. That is all. No way. i am since pledged my loyalty to his excellency Rukane. Besides, a Gadojin is on the side of Earth. So why is it surprising that an earthling is on the side of Gados? Sarah, I await your answer. Don't you dare compare yourself, E.G. Sarah, don't tell me you're thinking about... You don't believe me, Shinobu. Don't even joke about that. 
Who the hell would join the Gnosians? You're wrong, Scorpio. Or Shapiro. 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 I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Fool Sarah in the inn. You're completely reduced to that of a mere earthling. The least I can do is make sure you die. Oh, don't even joke. That's my line. Indeed. Well, the situation has got even grimmer. I thought I was going to be able to finish the battle in this episode. Apparently not. Yeah, dead. And that is the grimmest part of it all. Besides, you know, Sarah finding that her, her lover that she thought was dead is now on uh, the enemy side. But anyway, guys, that will be all for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.